Catalan independence and Barcelona protests. It's Ali Foreman with flags. Boom by yay. This is James Whalen. This is a topic I probably should not be talking about, but I've already hit the record button and you people are still with me. Thank you. Bar uh, Catalan independence is one thing that people in Barcelona know nothing about. They don't know anything about it. I'm serious. The reason why I say that is because I've tried to find out a lot about it by just personally investigating and asking around. And the interesting thing with Barcelona is that everybody gives me a different answer about Catalan independence, depending on who I'm talking to. Um, everybody's interpreting this topic through their own personal and cultural frameworks. I guess that happens in a lot of heavy political topics, but you know, one person will talk about a, a, a cold and unjust tax war. Another person will point out that this is a ridiculous topic because most, because though they're from Barcelona, most of their family or a lot of their family is back in deep Spain. There are immigrants and foreigners like me who are kind of re removed from the heat of this topic and I kind of have a what's the point kind of attitude. Someone else will, will describe a repressive environment that they live in where they can't fully express their own national identity or personal identity, something like the civil rights struggles in the 1960s in America. Everybody gives me a different answer. Uh, everybody that I talk to uh, has different approaches to the whole thing, and I guess that's a normal thing to keep to a normal thing with topics like this. What I see as a as a out on the streets of Barcelona is that you know people are hanging flags everywhere, and you'll see you're seeing Spanish flags, and then you're seeing the Catalan flag, and then there's the Catalan independence flag, which makes me draw the conclusion that the really big difference between the two groups is that one has three stripes and the other has nine stripes. That's a kind of what's the point uh, approach that I have. Anyway, there's plenty of information on the internet if you want facts and dates and if you want to go back 300 years and lay that all out. I'm not going into any of that. I can only really tell you about what I've seen and what seems significant. Uh, last year, the national, in 2017, the local government, uh, the Catalan government, tried to hold an illegal uh, vote to decide if they were going to, to leave the country. And the Spanish court said that that was illegal. The Spanish government sent in police. Some of those police smashed heads. There were videos of that violence and the videos went viral, like my videos. Um, local politicians were imprisoned and are still in prison. This is a year later. Um, my spiritual teacher, Pema Children, would call this escalation. And escalation is never a good thing. Some things in life change, but I have the feeling that Catalan conflict is never going to stop. We're talking evolutionary standards of time. Um, you can look up more information about it, but it's an ongoing situation. When you come here, you'll see the flags, uh, the Spanish flag, the Catalan flag, and the independence flag with the star in it. I'm not immune also from interpreting this whole topic through my own per, uh, cultural framework. Uh, my family lived in Louisiana for eight generations, and in my opinion, succession is not a right of citizenship, and I think everybody can agree on that, starting with Abraham Lincoln. Other people have very different opinions. Most Irish and Scottish people that I know interpret it through their own uh, kind of national perspectives and have, and have very uh, strong opinions about it. It's an ongoing topic. I don't expect it to be resolved anytime soon. You're going to probably be hearing, you're going to be hearing more about it. Um, this is James Whalen giving you specific solutions, quirky fun. I'm just throwing observations at you more than anything. I'd love to hear back from you if you have any opinions. When my local friends see this, they're going to respond. <laughs> anyway, we're having a great day here running through these videos. If you're liking this, and I'm sure you're liking this as much as I am, smash the like button. Grab the share button, subscribe, uh, have a great day, and I'll see you next time. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.